May 21st, May 21st, May 23rd. Non public. Yeah, so there's May, 20, May 21st public, there's a May 21st non public, and two May 23rd non publics, and then we have today's non public. Okay. Yeah, both are except all. Say that I'm going to have to abstain from the, the 23rd. You have the two non publics on the 23rd, oh, and I, was, yeah. I wasn't around, so oh, okay. I'll abstain from that. But I'll second the rest of them. Oh, okay? Yeah, I'll second them. Sure. So uh, I did go see uh, Twin State Chapter today. And they have a fact that I was working on a town in the front side bar. He won't touch it. I told him what's wrong with it. He said if the guy I worked on before won't touch it, he definitely doesn't want it. Because it's the part of the hydrostatic transmission. The high and low is because it's probably burning the flush. That's consistent with what I've heard about that more. So that tractor is now in the water. Yeah, I think it's a hunk of iron. Yeah, we have a bunch of tablets down there that we need to uh, put up with bids. Okay. The old GM 04 needs to get put up with bids. The uh, tractor and probably the lower because they're not using that. And do we have a tanker down there too? It's going to be different clientele. Right.
the demo, I left it up to you guys because I have no clue what the trash was, depending on what they were in and how they were in I've been thinking about it, and I just, to be fair, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I've thought about that too. And, uh, so pretty much how I see it is if we take the demo away, we're going to see stuff drop on the side of the road. Yep. If we raise the prices, we're, we're going to see that. stuff exactly. drop on the side of the road. So either way, we're going to see stuff yep. drop on the side of the road until... should be part of the uh, insurance plan. Yeah. So, 13. I mean, you're not going to spend the 12,000 if you want to get it that way. No. You're not going to no, spend the 12 grand. Are you sure? I'll pause it. Bet you will. I bet you don't. That's what you spent all of last year for the whole year. You got that uh, six months left, and that one run was almost a thousand dollars. Yeah, but how many containers did they take? A demo. We took the big one that was full. Took building. two. Two. Yeah. Well, let me finish. We took the big one and out of another one that had the building in it, and we put the rotten pallets in the remainder of the small one. Right. So you figure it went uh, uh, the big dumpster and probably half of the other one for the building. So figure it out. Probably eight hundred bucks for the building. Well, that's what it, yeah, the bill was, was 800 and something dollars. Well, that's what, uh, yeah, I mean, what is pallets weigh? 10 to 12 pallets, nothing. No, but I'm just saying, so I'm you're throwing them uh, about, uh, it was 1,000, it was actually 800 and something yeah. uh, for two uh, yeah, containers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, the bill. But that consisted of cleaning up the... Yeah, the, yeah pallets, the yard. Yeah, the pallets and what was in there. All the wrong pallets have been there for who knows how long. We won't charge for it. I took a talk. You, yeah, shingles are, are your biggest thing. And if you want, want to take a charge for shingles, uh, I would go sixty dollars uh, for. Rather than it comes up above the yeah, yeah, wheel well, yeah, then it's sixty dollars. Yeah. What if it's mixed? If it's what? Mixed. They're still getting charged for those yeah, the shingles. So it's sixty dollars whether it's straight shingles or mixed. Yeah. So is there another price? Yeah, I would go with thirty dollars. Yeah. Thing is, I'm hauled into uh, Hammonds, all right? Yeah. I'm getting charged twenty five dollars for a truckload. Yeah, you are. Think yeah. about it, man. Think about if you had your truck full of drywall. Yes, I'm talking wood right now. Well, I'm talking demos, everything. You gotta realize it just ain't gonna be wood that's going in that container. Yes. I mean, I could put how many loads in your truck in here? Just wood, and it won't weigh up to nothing. But now I had four or five truckloads of drywall. Two or three truckloads of shingles, now add all wood on that. You tell me what it's going to cost. I would go with sixty dollars for those shingles, thirty dollars for wood. Full truckload, half truckload, quarter truckload, up to the four wheel wells. <clears throat> if, if they go up, now, up over the uh, top of the bed, then I'd go to forty dollars. So we're going to have a bunch of different charges, and it's going to be up to the uh, attendants to come up with that. To, to watch what then comes in. I wonder how that will go. <laughs> how do you After think? Sunday, I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> we told one guy he couldn't throw a wooden in the trash dump, and I won't take a look at what you need, and he said, I'll throw you in the trash dump. 
And you start charging. But it's in a thing. Don't charge it they go to the low the wells? That's what they weren't doing before. That's how it started before, yeah. But that's when we had a problem with people bring it through. Exactly, that's what you get that. That's yeah. all we had is you got yeah. the same people put out three or four times. So that has to stop. Yeah. So uh, I'd say it's a, you know, you bring demo and you're gonna be I think you know, there, there should I be a minimum you know, payment of some you know, some sort, and then you can go by, you know, whatever level you have. The alternative the state just had an auction. Well, I didn't go to state auction, so well, we could I didn't know anything about it. So, we yeah, have another one called. Are we going to see go for? I don't know. Okay, on the side, probably. If you make a comment or question, please state your name so Sarah can put it down on the records. <laughs> Sorry, if you don't know who you are. Do you want my name? Yes, please. Jim Swalding. Scales, then, then we could keep the demo running as long as we wanted to because yeah, now we have an accurate. Then, you know, how you, you did it by the time. Like you're going to spend it, it's nothing. In the long run, you pay for itself. Yep. Yeah. Because you know exactly, you know, you would be guessing, oh, yeah, this guy had 500 pounds, this one had 1,000, and then next thing you know, you're going to screen that because you weren't right. If you got weighed, then. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Like we, we take that, a lot of people don't even do that. 
You take the what? Bro, like a brush pile. Brush a lot of towns don't do that yeah. either. We have a full service uh, yeah. recycling yeah. center. Yeah. We do a nice job down there with everything. Right, but do we have to be like all these other towns? Well, you know, the point and is. That's uh, what I'm saying is we don't have to be like I every other town. That, but the, the point that you're getting at here is either you're going to, my budget's going to go out in this world by the way you want to do things, or you're going to find it beside the road. So you guys are going to make the choice what you want to do. Because I personally, I'm there to run it, but I don't care what you guys do because you have the final say on what you're doing, not me. So if you want to done with that, figure out how you get to that. Then let me know. Set of scales is going to cost, how soon you're going to get them. So you're you know, still just going to prolong the uh, demo. Can I ask you a question then? How many people have come to you and asked about the demo and they missed the gym yet? Quite a few. Well, then they're asking you and they're asking the wrong person. Because they, you know something, Jim's the only one to ask me about the demo. Well, I'm sorry, he's the only well, one. Well, you know something, you get around an awful lot. How much, I'm going to put it this way, how much of your own business includes a demo? If you were paying that cheap to Freddie, why are you so desperate to get a demo back? I'm doing it for the people, not for me. I don't believe that for a minute, but that's my opinion. But I don't care, like I said, I don't care what you guys do. Um, <clears throat> well, I definitely agree that the only way that we could measure what's going in there is with the scale. So maybe we ought to look into getting a scale. Should we open it in the meantime and go by this other method of measuring? And then we get the scales, that's coming out of the 13 grand. If we get, if we could buy the scales, it comes out of 13 grand and then we're basically home free because then it should, it should pay for itself after that, right? Am I, am I missing something? Yeah. So we could do both if you want. I think in the long run, the scale is the way to go. Because it's, you know, we're going to have one attendant that's got a different standard by looking at it than somebody else. That's just, the, that's just human nature. So, in order to be fair, and it's, you know, when you're just eyeballing something, it's, it's hard to eyeball. But a scale is an actual, it's something to go by. So, <clears throat> we might find that we can't afford a scale. That could be the case. Yeah. You know, it's 5, exactly. maybe, maybe if we're lucky, 5,000, maybe less, maybe be over 10. Right. I have we no don't idea. Know.
So what he's saying is we're going to have like six different price ranges, yeah. like we did before, you know, it's not a flat rate. If you come in and you're above the wheel wells, I'm charging you 40. If he comes in and he's below the wheel wells, I'm charging him whatever. So the guy that's going to be not being charged as much is going to make seven trips. And what so happens when I get talked into putting out somebody's house and it's all furniture? Furniture is different. And then where's it go? Well, it's been the demo. The demo. And the demo. And, the demo. and it's taking up all oh, your yeah. space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, so you know what I mean? Chair, wooden chairs and stuff like that. That's where they go. So, I mean, that's another situation you're into. Yeah, it's taking up space for the demo. Yeah. Can you call around other towns and ask what they do? They don't take uh, demo. To the ones that do one, you don't want to know what they do. Because right. I already looked into it. They charge for everything. They charge by five cents for this, and a brick is like a dollar for that, and this. So we need to hire another person. So what I'm trying to get at is, yeah. you, by the time you're done, you're going to have two lists full of just demo, and you bring in brick, it's going to cost you a dollar. I mean, that's all we want to know. I looked into it. That's all we want to know stuff. One of my charges is about the bag, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, and you have to use their bags. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, that's why I said, I'm telling these guys to figure it out because I've already called around. I mean, what's fair? I mean, that's the problem. Well, you don't want to know the size of your room. No, but you know, wait till the mattresses come off. You think that's bad about the demo? <laughs> Griffin. Yeah, but I keep on hearing about, you know, being concerned about the stuff ending up being on the side of the road. We've got all these other communities who don't want our demo. They don't have any more trash cans going off of the side of the road. Than they had before. That, that's because they have been using crackers. Yeah, there's a place called Hide <laughs> of Land Road that's got a perfect example. Exactly. Yes. Well, it's got a type of land. I mean, the stuff that was thrown off there that Corey pulled up, it, recently there hasn't been stuff thrown there. That stuff was really old. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that goes back like 40 years. years. And the tires were something that was recent. Uh, you have a pile of wood yeah. thrown up. Yeah. At, the, at the end of the road, I know. At the end, end of the And that was fresh. Yeah. Uh, but again, was that done when the demo was closed? Yes. Was it done? After snow left it there, uh, it appeared. Was that someone from Graff that did it? No idea. There you go. That's the thing. They have no we idea where it was Graff from. No, it's just a remote no. spot. People know other people, people, people in Canaan know about that spot. There are an entire life on the great spot. Orange. That's the field goes that I don't recognize, you know. <laughs> Can you do a one-time demo, open for one time, then look for the scale? You know, how, remember years ago how we did the tires that one time? I remember well. <laughs> yeah, how many tires you got? We got a lot of tires. We sure did. And we got accused of taking tires from other towns. And I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that we got rid of a lot of tires from Whatever. the roadside, wherever. I definitely saw many. Trucks overloaded coming from Danbury. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> they probably just were going to the store to get a snack. Some people in the community would know that's taking place, and other people, like myself, yeah. uh, would have no idea that's ha happening. Some, some people wouldn't know. So, I mean, being broadcast on our website, some people would post it on Facebook. The word, word gets yeah. around to many people if we did that. Yeah. Not to everybody, but. It's up for the end of Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe we could try opening it for a week or two and use the fees. And see how that works, and look for, and then revisit. If we revisit this, does that mean we have to have a public hearing 14 days in advance? And then, so if you're changing fees, do it now. Okay. So I'm thinking it's up to the wheel well, base rate, 30 bucks. Anything over, lower it to 60. Yeah. Double it. Okay. Anything over what? Wheel wells. 
What was the dollar amount? Sixty. Sixty. Yeah. The full load. Okay. Thirty for a half. Okay. There's is not going to be any nitpicking. Is that a long bed or a short bed? It's any bed. Any bed. Yeah. You pick, well, not any bed because we'll get really big beds then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dump trucks. I mean, exactly right. Just don't haul in a Subaru Baja. <laughs> be over front of pain. <laughs> Just up to the real ones. So you're overcharging the people at 30 for uh, under the real well. Where uh, if you uh, if you went on a set of scales, we'd probably figure out to maybe 10 mil. Yeah. <laughs> That's why everybody should be in favor of scales. <laughs> That's why we need scales. I'm not saying anything against the scales, but uh, I mean, well, I keep I, asking what you want to charge it. I don't, think, get nothing. I don't think that's overcharging. I think that's charging for a service. And that's the, I think that's the best way that, that's the easiest way right now that we can do it. So if somebody has a bunch of lightweight stuff and it comes up to the wheel well, it's 30 bucks. If somebody has up to the wheel wells and it's shingles, we can, it's going to be 30 bucks, right? It's the same. No, so shingles, yeah, way more. more. Shingles would be more. Yeah, shingles so are the only more. thing that's singled out is shingles as being the weight. Yes, yeah, because of the weight. Yeah. So shingles are what double what everything else would be. Yeah. So sixty. I mean, uh, sixteen, a hundred and, and twenty. You, you take uh, uh, a roof uh, of shingles and you put it in the bed. Uh, it it's may just way. barely hit the uh, the wheel lines. Yeah. And uh, weight wise, it's you're gonna be right up there. So why don't you do shingles separate? If you're gonna bring shingles in. Don't bring well, that's what I said. Just bring shingles. No shingles. Wood, no nothing else. Well, that's going to be hard. Yeah, especially when people show up. Everything. They throw paper. Good boy. Oh, yeah, one plywood. They throw paper. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, when they put out a small show, you know, they try them. Demo. <laughs> yeah, they try them. Yeah, you'd be surprised what you find in there. Oh, I found TVs in there. I found everything. Buried under people's. Well, that would mean that someone's not watching what's going on. Oh yeah, I like to see what they find in there. Bring that up. So, yeah, this does come back. The attendance will have to be out of that shed. Pay attention to what goes in that. Yeah. How about a chain going across for the tank? We've tried that. Really? We've tried everything like that. How about you a Either get snatched by somebody else or just. It's a long story. about some of that. I'd rather overprice than, it's a service that we're providing that other towns don't provide. But you're going to make money off it and you can't take and make money off the product. But don't we have to pay, I mean, how do we transport it from Yeah, we have to pay to get rid of it. We have to pay to get rid of it. We have to pay to stand and watch what gets thrown in there. I mean, they don't think of that. They don't think of that. They just think about how much you're paying. No, we're not. All right. Because by the time we pay someone to load it, haul it, yeah, 
dump it and come back. Yeah. And the, the wear and tear on the vehicle, that extra trips that the vehicle's got to take, and that, yeah, we do all that, and, and we figure it in. Things. Sure. So, and then we can check out scales. And when that 13,000 is gone, we're done. Yeah. Unless we can live off the revenue that it's producing. You know, pay for it. they can pay for itself from the revenue. That's a, that's a book keep, keeping trick, too, because everybody would have to keep track of that, wouldn't they? No. But, if they but they do it anyways. But if they want to fax it back, we can bring it back and do it, but we've all done it. And when $13,000 hits, Bingo. we're done again. And I'll fight this fight again next year. Every year is going to be another fight. Mm -hmm. We need to double team. We need to double team. No. That's going to be it's still time. Steve, you agree with him? You're shaking your head. Oh. Not, not you, Steve. What, what, I, you were shaking your head to what Lee said. You agree with Lee? I agree with Lee, yeah. I don't know what shaking my head. Because I told you the scales. Really can't I don't have of getting scales. Or are they going to be overcharging or undercharging? No, I look at it. Either way, we're either going to be eating a bill or putting the money somewhere else. How much money does it cost to, uh, to certify a scale every year so that no one can complain about that? So the thing here. The Bureau of Weights and Measures will come in and they, yeah, they I come in. Exactly. I don't think it's that much. 25 yeah. bucks maybe. Even like a truck scale. Yeah, you come in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. To me, if you're going to go and look at scales, then go back to your normal fees that you've been charging. Until you yeah. find out about the scales, increase the fee for yeah, shingles because that's the way you're going to take the uh, cost you the most. Um. And you're not going to go through that 13000 in uh, six months. Cost you twelve thousand last year for all uh, twelve months. I I don't have those figures, so I don't really know. But well, I, I did. I went through and did the research and came up with the uh, dollar amount. That's why uh, when that amount of fifteen thousand was being uh, thrown out there, I looked it up and I'm saying no. Nobody's going to come okay, up so with a whole, it's like, it's whole bed full of shingles. Huh? This is wrapping this thing well. Don't truck in and exhaust the whole thing that's half full of shingles into the dump you can only charge them 60 bucks? I know that happened twice. I can tell you the person is, but I ain't going to tell you. And there were straight shingles that come off the roof in town. And you get charged 25 bucks per load. Yeah, well, we can't so do that. So how do you do that? Yeah. They're saying right now, 60 bucks. So what about a uh, half a dump truck load? 60 bucks? I yes. know it's all about how many tons in a, a dump truck? In a dump truck? Think about that. No, I know, but how often are you going to get it then? You well, said no just this, twice. No in this town? Yeah. Yeah, but not everybody has a dump truck that's coming in with the... 
on the mattresses too. Well, you have to if you want, unless you want to get the money for 20 bucks every time one goes 11. What was it? It's 25 bucks for 11 charges. What are we charging now? Five. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the reason why I said you think the demo is bad. Do you think you're going to start seeing mattresses on the mattresses? No, it's not at all. Well, That's the point I was trying to get at. And then you know something you're going to separate them. You're going to end up paying for that way twice. Because they ain't going to, they're going to weigh you going in with all your, your, your other stuff. And they're gonna, they ain't gonna let you take it, you know, you're gonna take the matches off the stone and charge it. So either way you look at it, you can't afford it twice. They were already raised the price of the 25 bucks a match. Yeah, that's what it would be charged for. I didn't know about it. They said the first year, but I ain't got no paperwork on it. I've long, they didn't say to me, as far as I know, they didn't say that's nothing. So, yeah. I started now. Does it have to be a wait time to let the public know? I, I'm just asking because somebody's going to go in and say, "Yeah, ah, tomorrow." They've already, you know, they've already stood in one lot of people. You know, they're going to go right. up eventually. I mean, you want to give them, yeah, just two days, yeah. two <laughs> days of you open. Yeah. And I'm saying, you guys are going to make decisions. Public hearing on this? No, 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 we didn't. No. No. Well, no. 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 So I would say, yeah. This coming Wednesday and Sunday, after uh, next Sunday, yeah, everybody's going to get charged. So I'm uh, thinking uh, they take to put a sign out there, nice big sign. Yeah. In fact, at this day, mattress is going to be yeah, twenty-five dollars. I think everybody's going to bring their mattresses. Yeah, exactly. Before that's, that, that's what they do when we started charging for computers. You should yeah. have seen exactly. the pile of computers yeah. that we had in the yeah. dumpster. Exactly. I mean, the fee should just take effect. It should wait until. Yeah. So okay, I, I, we can make it. Uh, only in specialty of this holiday is Juneteenth, because that day we start. <laughs> okay, now, question at Doing this, who's going to put the bill like we should on the bill here when they bring in two dumpsters loaded of matches all together? Who's going to pay the 25 bucks a piece of them when they go to Lebanon? Do you think I'm going to eat with my budget? I've already ate how many now? Think about that. And never mind my trash haul, you guys took the 13 grand from. What do you mean? Yeah, 13 grand. That's where the demo money comes from. My, my hauling fee for Lebanon, and I never even asked for demo money. So I don't know where you guys did that, but whoever did that when I brainstormed. You had 13 grand that was raised. I've never, yeah, but I'm saying you took it out of my budget originally and raised it. To put we it never took in. it out of your budget. Look back and look at that one. Yes. So you're talking about the, the in the budget process yeah. that money was taken Yes, it was. It was taken out. Because we did away with the demo and then he put it on the warrant out for the, for the 13 grand and he raised the program and put it back in. Right. So my question being is why did they take I've asked it 40 times and nobody gives me an answer. Why did they take the 13 grand on my holiday fees for Lebanon? 
And they, I was told it was because of the demo. They didn't take 13 grand. Go look. Go back and look because I have the paperwork. Yes, they did. Okay, so I wish we started this on the 12th. I give you guys a two days offering dates to tell people that price they want to. And we'll see how it goes. Hey, we'll use second mattresses out of the ditch. Huh? If that keeps the mattresses, keep some mattresses out of the ditch. Okay. It's, right? it's hard to say. Yeah. Right. You used to, there used to be mattress fill up by your place, right? Yeah, there was yeah. like an unbelievable amount of mattresses in the woods. Yeah, you ever clean that up? You. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so the second the demo painter come back, normal fee is for shingles. Which is gonna be sixty bucks no matter what. All the prices stay the same, mattresses go up. Yep. Is there anything else? Not that I'm aware of now, unless I get told tomorrow. What? What about TVs? Well, yeah. what am I supposed to do? It? You just said we overcharge stuff, so how am I going to do that without knowing how much I actually weigh? I don't want to be overcharging something 50 cents. So, leave it alone. You were the one that was complaining about it. That was, but leave it alone. You're the boss. That's right, you're the boss, not me. I keep telling you guys that, you keep looking at me at it. I just imply the, the, the decisions of it. You're the expert. No, I'm not pretending to walk. Well, obviously, if I was the expert, I wouldn't be sitting here arguing about how much to charge a demo. Because I had a brainstorm sitting over there in nose because he's been to hand me three times. Okay, so. I think that concludes our public hearing. Anyone have any comments, questions about this? I've got a this? lot, I won't say anything. <laughs> no. I don't want it back. I do. What about dump stickers for people from this town saying, oh, I see people from out of this town there? You know, we don't know. That, come, that, that, that come from Orange, and they've been going for years. So, and it might just be one or two bags, but if you're talking $25 mattresses on the side of the road. When I first moved here, they asked about dump stickers, and I said, well, hand me one. Do they have them? Yeah, we have them. We have pages on the people. Yeah. yeah. And I, I don't know if people come from Orange, I don't know who you're talking about. Well, well, you don't. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> they've, been, they've been going there long enough that you don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> but usually uh, they ask for uh, yeah. registration. Yeah, to yeah we do have both stuff. Yeah, we do. We ask for oh, registration okay. and tax bill or something like that, so we know that. Okay, let's well, say, because we're all in New Hampshire points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have mass plates walking, so where are they coming from? Well, mass plates I understand, they have the property here. Yeah, but uh, you know, you really very few that do understand. A lot of people say, why is mass people dumping there? Because they have property. They're paying taxes here. Yeah. And uh, orange residents no longer uh, are capable of using uh, graphics. Okay. Uh, that, that stopped a number of years ago. Mm -hmm. About people, you know, the people of orange are still using graphics. Yes. That, that could be, I wouldn't. I haven't had a dump sticker on my vehicle. <coughs> no, I think we need to start putting dump stickers back on the You know what I said? I said a long time ago, but nobody listens. As soon as somebody comes into town and registers a vehicle or re registers in this town, why aren't you giving them up? But I was told that won't work. Well, that's the easiest way to do it, but I don't know enough. It's do what? Well, if somebody comes here like you and me and we re register a vehicle or register a new one, she should give us a dump sticker. That way we know who is actually from this town. Send them out with the tax bill, everybody gets one. Exactly, that's what I mean. How hard is it? I've been saying that, but I know we're allowed. That's a good allowed. idea. We're not allowed to put anything else in that tax bill. Really? We've tried something like that before. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, Can they get it from the, from my office? Yes. Hell yeah. Look up to see up there yeah, we we used to get them from from the office. I'm just thinking a lot of people can come in with a tax bill. See, I got his tax bill. I could say, hey, I live up here. And I don't even live in town because I'm just, I'm afraid of his and use this tax bill. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's, can Paul, I don't know, but I know people that probably would. From the tenant, it would be a real pain for the first several months, probably. But can the attendant 
just give stickers out after checking their registration. See, it says draft them on it. And I, you know, I got like five rigs. It would take several times for me to go through. I mean, maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't need to check my rig because you know me. But like, if you weren't sure about someone, you shouldn't be offended if you pull out a reg and give you a sticker. It would be really a lot of work for the first few months, maybe. But after that, it would kind of be smooth sailing. You're a great place to be able to issue those stickers, yes. And I think you should. I, actually, I, I think the having Bonnie give them too is it. Because people go there and say, yeah, that's right. After you hear it, be the best place. Because obviously, you can't, you know, you need to come from, you know, Enfield to Red Chicago. I mean, that would definitely be Can you go five cars? Three click, yeah. That makes it pretty easy. So if we were to get back on the mm -hmm. sticker, mm -hmm. then you identify where you're from on your car. Mm -hmm. I know Canaan won't allow you to dump it. There's not a sticker on your vehicle. Yeah. If you live in town, if you take another vehicle into the sticker, they will refuse you. That's one way of keeping it. They did it to me. I took them off the truck once. And they said, you can't dump here. So yeah, cool. And they've seen me multiple times. There's no, no sticker. Well, that's good. Cool. <laughs> what are you doing with the real <laughs> Sure Make a motion to uh, <laughs> and uh, dump stickers to uh, Sarah and see if Bonnie would be Ooh. open to doing that. Open to doing that. Yeah, yeah, that's her her so show. Yes, motion yeah. to bring back the dump stickers. Second. Do you want to keep them with the recycling center too? Yep. Yeah, we keep traveling on them. Someone second that? Yes, yeah. I did. Okay. Public hearing and now over. Thank you. Hope you don't see it tomorrow, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can do print out. Okay, off to appointments. Angus. Hey. Sorry it took so long. Hey, no problem. Um, can I come yeah. up? Come on. Can we do the crafting content first? Just you do whatever one you want to do first. Okay. Um, try to be as concise as I can. I think it was probably like five years ago or something that I did a sign scheme at the dam and it has worked really well. And a few signs have been vandalized or hit or like. So I think there's about five signs that they could replace. And then I want to talk about maybe having two signs made up. Um,